We are live in the village court of Farmingdale. Today's date is February 2nd, uh, 17th rather, I apologize, 17th, uh, 2011. And as you could see, clearly see, the, uh, the UN flag here is taller than the US flag. I was here last night to fight a simple ticket and I asked a simple question. Correct me if I'm wrong, is that a UN flag? To which the answer was yes. I said, is this a UN court or is it a USA court? I was told this is a USA court. I said, it is illegal for any other flag than a US flag to be the tallest flag. So therefore, I am challenging the legitimacy of this court. The bailiff said that uh, the UN flag was not flying. So that, because of that, it was a legal loophole, and it didn't matter. It matters to me. It matters to the people that fight for this country, give their lives, their limbs, their families, everything they have. And I would think they deserve the respect that the American flag is the tallest flag. I don't even think the UN flag should be here. Listen, Hoss, you take your hand off that car, you're going for a ride, you understand me? I'm not going to mess around. I'm tired of seeing you around, you understand that? I'm tired of seeing you around, you understand that? No, I'm not where you're going, it's what you're doing. I haven't been out. Open up this door. Here, unbuck it. What are you doing? I've got truth. If you give me an answer other than the truth, then you're coming out of there. Okay, well, before we get... Huh? Before I get... I've never had to do this yet. I'm over here, I was looking at Reliable... I want your, your driver's license. Reliable Street Sweeping. I was working for Sky Sweeping, I got laid off. I don't know these other guys' numbers, so I came over to try to find their truck. I know her from when I drove for You're eight... lying. No, sir. You're lying. I know her from when I drove for eight taxi, James Keller. You're lying right now. Honest to God, uh, officer, I got Step out of the car. You're half a heartbeat from going to jail. You, you keep messing around. Why do you keep having that? What because is that? I have a concealed here. You have a weapon on you? Yes. That's why I did. Right there you go. 
Lock your hands behind your back. What is the first thing you're supposed to do? I, I was telling you this, sir. You're supposed to tell me you have a weapon. I was trying, and you told You are supposed to say that right off the goddamn bat! I'm sorry, I was trying to. I swear to God, Try I was... to, I wish I was in their fucking car! Spin your ass around! Get lost! I find you one more time tonight, I'm gonna put lumps on you. Now get the hell out of here! Get going! Walk around this car! I'm tired of it! What is the first thing you're supposed to do? I'm supposed to tell you I have a weapon. We're out here dealing with somebody and you've got a gun on you? I, I, I never done this before. It's Bullshit! You went to the class! Yes, sir, and I was trying to explain that I had it. You open your mouth! I was... Okay. I never explained it when I was in the car. Come on, man. It's too hard. A fucking lies. I'm not, officer. I'm not lying. I have nothing on me. Right now. The shit that you just pulled. I just blast you right in the mouth. I'll never ever do it again. I'll never go. Goddamn right, because you're going to catch a felony on this one. Well, have a seat. I didn't do anything. Have I'm going in. A, a seat. Now I'm telling you. A seat. Okay. Wait a minute. That's bullshit. Can you take that? Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Saturday, July 23rd, 2011. I'm Darko, this is part three of this news bulletin, everyone. You just saw it right there. Uh, that is, this uh, This is the new USA. It's been here for a while. If you don't know, you better get used to it. Um, the individual did try to tell them that, or make them aware of the officer that he was carrying, but like the video description said, the guy obviously, um, w you know, basically was, he had some kind of plan. I don't know what it was. He was going to take people to jail no matter what. Uh, but he obviously, he obviously has some anger management issues um, along with um, not liking slaves owning firearms. I mean, dude, this guy's entire job and existence is useless. It has no purpose on this earth in this country. I'm talking about police officers. I've spoken of them before. That's why I said I think they're the Antichrist. And that's uh, that guy right there, he just fits it. So you guys just go keep go doing what you're doing. I'm not speaking to all police officers, but uh, many of them are like this. And I've encountered with, encountered them. And as a um, promoter of a stateless society, uh, you douchebags are just helping my credibility in promoting that. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Ass wipe. Libya wants more talks as NATO strikes hit the capital. And um, says here Libya is ready to hold more talks again like they did before with the United States and with rebels trying to overthrow Muammar Gaddafi. But the Libyan leader will not bow to demands. Uh, he quit. He also isn't going to talk to the rebels. So that's lying right there. Uh, Libya Gaddafi threatens uh, world security. And um, that's just more propaganda. Gaddafi must stand trial at the ICC. So it says here, the uh, forces says uh, in battle ruler of the country, Muammar Gaddafi must stand trial in the International Court of Justice. For what? For trying to uh, stand up for his country and not let uh, basically it become a Zionist occupied territory. And uh, Gaddafi himself actually doesn't have all that much power as far as his role. The people really do have the power. So um, that's why he has so much support by the people, because he actually does what he says. Like his father, who died before he even got into a, a housing, any kind of housing. They were living in tents, and he died. And he was, his dad was a little upset by that, but Gaddafi actually fulfilled his word, his promise to the people. So I guess that deserves the... Uh, the right to go to a, uh, a criminal court and be charged for uh, war, uh, crimes against humanity. So this is everything is upside down in this world that you and I uh, are living, unfortunately. And uh, we just have to live with it. But all we can do is really just try to tell um, the sheeple, the hoople heads, the, pl the plebes, uh, uh, just make them aware of it and uh, offer your solution, whatever it may be. Um, but uh, people got to know, and they got to open up their minds, and they got to stop lying to themselves. Gaddafi refuses to speak to rebels, and uh, says here Gaddafi doesn't dismiss any possibility of taking or talking with the rebels that control nearly half the country. Uh, and it says here Iran University professor is assassinated, 
And it goes on here and says, on uh, November 29, 2010, two other Iranian academics became the target of terrorist uh, attacks. On December 2nd, the Iranian intelligence ministry announced that Mossad, CIA, and MI6 spy agencies played a role in those attacks. KSA, that's Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, deploys more troops in Bahrain, one of those are the German tanks. Saboteurs attack Syrian civilian uh, trains. says uh, they have attacked a passenger train carrying up to 480 passengers, many of them women and children, in the central uh, Syrian city of uh, homes here and uh, it goes down here and it says the opposition accuses security forces of uh, being behind the killings but the Syrian government blames armed gangs and violence uh, saying that the unrest is being orchestrated from outside the country uh, two blasts rock Syrian army college two blasts have rocked the Syrian army college in the central city of homes residents have reported and next up we have US led soldiers killed three more Afghans civilians including a female doctor and her son after they opened fire on a civilian vehicle in Afghanistan's eastern province uh, US wastes 34 billion dollars in Afghanistan Iraq contracting talking about um, khaki and black water and Titan security uh, Eastern Africa uh, battles worse drought in 60 years and then we go on here and it says Somalian Islamists lift ban aid to help drought victims this was just 6th of July 2011 then it says Somali rebels deny lifting ban on foreign aid Al Shabaab spokesman says specific agencies still not well says here rebels have denied lifting a ban on certain aid groups and those certain aid groups in the drought affected areas and rejected the UN's claim that there is a famine in the region. At the time, the rebels accused various humanitarian groups, including the UN's World Food Program, which is expected to lead the current drought response, which probably helped create the famine, of damaging the local economy, being anti Muslim, and of spying for the government, which are probably right. Al Shabaab insists on aid groups' bans on the call of the UN for immediate action to curb the famine in Somalia, the African countries. Al Shabaab group says organizations that were previously banned are not allowed back into. Somali soil, Somalia, the real causes of famine. And really what it's talking about, they're just talking about a drought. Uh, basically, Somalia's been entangled in a civil war uh, for a while now. And, uh, you know, it's always talking about lawlessness, lawlessness gangs, uh, warfare, and anarchy is upheld as a major causes behind the famine. But who is behind the laws and armed gangs? And it says Somalia's categorized as a failed state, a country without a government. It says, how did it become that? And it says there's ample evidence of foreign intervention as well as covert support of armed militia groups triggering failed states as an integral part of the U.S. foreign policy as part of military intelligence agenda. Then we have Pentagon warning order prepare for war by September. This is Robert Bayer, the uh, individual who George Clooney played in Syriana, a real person, uh, says that uh, here, but he's gone uh, now and there is a warning uh, order inside the Pentagon to prepare for war uh, there's almost near certainty that Natiano of Israel is planning an attack on Iran and it will probably be in September before the vote on the Palestinian state and he's also hoping to draw the United States into the conflict. Mossad spying on Earth because of Christchurch earthquake, Israeli Secret Services Mossad, Rupert Murdoch, Fox News ran Black Ops Department, executive claims federal employees charged with accessing celeb info. And the next up we have inside the terrifying IMF hack, who the hackers were and what they took. And as saying as a foreign government, climate change threatens peace. UN official warns on July 21st, 2011. Why? Because they want to put this in place. It's green police, UN green helmets, Ban Ki Moon considers peacekeeping for global warming. Hmm. Bill proposes homeland security takeover of national national seashore and coastal locations. And dis uh, dissatisfaction, sorry, with Washington hits a 19-year high, says a, a poll here. Then Gallup pollster, Obama's ratings higher than you'd expect. So lawyer, cop scanner crosses the line. Talk about the state's plan to create a big brother database that could map drivers' whereabouts with a political cruiser mounted cameras that capture thousands of license plates per hour than woman guilty of refusing uh, TSA groping. And next up we have... A uh, local man speaks out over TSA airport pat-downs because he has bladder cancer. And uh, says here, two New Jersey teens labeled sex offenders for life after horseplay incident. Not joking. Then audit, Fed gives uh, $16 trillion in emergency loan. The banks repaid cash owed to a program run by the Treasury Department, borrowing from another program run by the Treasury Department. And U.S. loses $1.3 billion in the bailout and exiting Chrysler. Then consumers in U.S. rely on credit as inflation erodes incomes return to mass layoffs, a grim sign for the U.S. Then look at this. Warning, scientists may not be that far from turning uh, humans into animals. And look at this. 150 human-animal hybrids grown in U.K. labs for the past three years. Young people should not take flu vaccines, says Watchdog and Obama and U.S. military gate. This is GGN.
and I'm Darko. God bless you, everyone. Thank you.